Urban Zen is about creating, collaborating, communicating change, creating a community uh, of mind, body, and spirit of people who want to deal in healthcare, education, and the preservation of culture. It was a dream that I had where I felt that um, where philanthropy and commerce can really join together. I felt it was the new paradigm of how one had to deal with business. Urban Zen was my husband's studio, who was an artist. Um, something, education was very important to him. And it's a way of carrying on his legacy, you know, is being able to bring people together to connect the dots and create future. Bali has always been my inspiration. Bali is a place for me which really preserves the culture, respects the spirituality of it, and makes a universe through um, creating product that has be, creates sustainability. And for whatever reason, I had this dream that Haiti had the same opportunity that Bali had. What I wanted to do in Haiti was really respond to the creativity. Something felt that once you have creativity, anything is possible. Then I went down to Haiti and I was blown away. I was truly, truly blown away as a creative, you know, as a designer, constantly looking for inspiration, constantly looking at craft and seeing, you know, really how to maintain a culture. And it was all sitting there, you know. And yes, you can look at the debris and the horror that has been created in Haiti. But what Haiti is about is about its spirit. It's about the people. It's about the energy. You know, it's not something that a hurricane comes in and all of a sudden, here's some money and, and we're out of there. You know, there is a sustainable future for Haiti. The people are extraordinary. The place is magnificent. I'm personally connected. This is not just my name. It's not about my name. It really is, Haiti's an inspiration to me. You know, and I think that there is so many possibilities that could be done in Haiti. And it's not only about, you know, for Donna Karen, it's for every designer. You know, it's worldwide opportunity for what can be done in Haiti. My prayer for Haiti is it preserves its culture. You know, I don't want to see that, you know, the bulldozers come in and God only knows this new Haiti is created. It needs to be preserved and to be able to bring people together to create the new future of Haiti, I can't think of anything more satisfying, you know, as a designer that I am today.